So what do you think? Do you like the place? The room seems doable. I think I'll take it. Awesome. So do you want to stay the night? I mean, move in now? Actually, I have some stuff that I need to bring over from my old place oh. first. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Clothes, personal belongings, knickknacks, your blankie, you know, a transitional object to help you find comfort in a new apartment. I have a blankie. You could have mine. Uh, no thanks, but I appreciate your level of enthusiasm. Cool. Uh. <laughs> wow. This is great, Natasha. Or should I say, roomy. <laughs> <laughs> So, there's just a few matters to go over. I'll need first and last month's rent as a security deposit. I won't be able to do that. Okay, no problem. I'm going to definitely need you to sign a six-month lease. I don't want to do that one either. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, I think we've gone over everything. Do you have any questions? What's the deal with this iPod test thing? Yeah, that you have to pass. I can't compromise on that one. Really? Yeah, it's a standard iPod test that I give to all prospective friends, roommates, and girls that may turn out to be more than a friend or a roommate. Okay, yeah, let's take it down a notch. So, if you would just hand over your iPod, I can begin judging your musical taste. Let's see what we have here. Maroon 5, that's a weak start. <laughs> LFO, Summer Girls, oh, that's that Abercrombie and Fitch song, right? Yeah. That's a problem. Monster Mash. So, that's something you listen to regularly, not just on Halloween? Oh no, Sugar Ray. Okay, we're done here. Natasha, you, you can't live here. Why? Your iPod, <laughs> it's, it's a mess. It's a deal breaker. Okay, were you going through my artists or were you looking at my playlists? I was looking at a playlist. What's the title of that particular playlist? Ironic music to ruin a party. Yeah, you know, when it's late at night and you want people to go home, you'd be surprised how fast the Super Bowl shuffle can really clear a room. <laughs> I'm so glad you're not really into any of that stuff. <laughs> Come on, did you think I would be at the gym, on the treadmill, rocking the Monster Mash? No, but I'd kind of like to see you do that sometime. <laughs> okay, Jake, do me a favor. I will try to be a little less cute and irresistible if you make an effort to be a little less creepy. Dear. <laughs> I do kind of like some of Sugar Ray's songs, though. Get out of my house. They're catchy and fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't believe Pete's gone. How long ago did you two break up? Break up? We didn't break up. Those teammates think you did. We had an on again, off again thing. Casual, no biggie. You didn't mind that he slept with different women? I wouldn't mind it if he did, but I happen to know he didn't. I happen to know he did. Who? Doesn't really matter, given that your relationship was casual. You slashed his tires, didn't you? No. We can prove you did it close, so here's the deal. You tell us the truth from now on, and we don't charge you with the vandalism and obstruction of justice. Let's try it again. You slashed his tires, didn't yes. you? Yes. He was sleeping with somebody else. I got passions that take over sometimes. Okay. You know how it is when you give yourself to a guy and then he goes off with someone else? Hmm. Who's Albie? Albie? Albie. Albie runs a poker game back in back of a Chinese restaurant off I Street. It's probably why Pete was broke so much. But who did you say he was sleeping with again? Well, I think we've got enough now, Miss Brad. Thanks for your cooperation. <laughs> 